In today's rapidly evolving digital landscape, cyber threats have become more sophisticated than ever. Whether you're a large corporation, a small business, or even an individual, the need for robust cybersecurity measures is crucial. One term that's gained significant attention in recent years is zero trust. But what exactly is zero trust? Why did it come about? And how can you implement it in your organization or personal life? That's what we're going to explore today. Zero Trust is a cybersecurity model built on the concept that no one, whether inside or outside your network, should automatically be trusted. Unlike traditional security models that focus on perimeter defense, such as firewalls and VPNs, Zero Trust assumes that threats can be both external and internal. Therefore, every access request must be verified, whether it's coming from within your network or outside it. At its core, Zero Trust operates on the principle of never trust, always verify. It ensures that no user, device, or application has access to any part of the system without explicit permission. The concept of Zero Trust was first coined by John Kindervag in 2010 when he was a principal analyst at Forrester Research. He observed that traditional security models weren't enough to keep up with evolving threats, particularly with the rise of mobile devices, cloud computing, and remote work environments. The rise of zero trust was also fueled by the increasing number of data breaches and insider threats that exposed the vulnerabilities in perimeter-focused security systems. These incidents highlighted the need for a more comprehensive and adaptive approach, which is where zero trust came in. In the past decade, we've seen numerous high-profile breaches that expose the limitations of traditional security models. From Target's 2013 data breach, which compromised over 40 million credit card numbers, to the more recent SolarWinds attack, it became clear that companies couldn't rely solely on securing the outer layers of their network. In these incidents, hackers gained access through trusted internal systems, making it evident that a new model was required one that didn't trust any user or system by default. Zero Trust emerged as a solution to these vulnerabilities by eliminating implicit trust and continuously verifying the authenticity of every action. Implementing Zero Trust. At the corporate level, implementing Zero Trust requires a multifaceted approach. Here are key steps companies should take. Network segmentation. Break your network into smaller zones, limiting access to only those who need it. Identity and access management. Use multi-factor authentication, MFA, and role-based access controls to verify users. Continuous monitoring. Employ monitoring tools to track unusual behavior in real time, making sure every interaction is logged and reviewed. Least privilege principle. Only provide users and systems with the minimum access necessary for them to complete their tasks. A real-life case of zero trust in action occurred with Google after the infamous Aurora attack in 2009. The attack compromised Google's internal systems, prompting them to rethink their security model. In response, they adopted a zero trust approach called Beyond Corp, which allowed them to secure their data and limit exposure to potential threats effectively. Implementing zero trust at the small business level. Small businesses often think they aren't targets, but they're just as vulnerable to cyber attacks. Implementing zero trust on a smaller scale can be done without breaking the bank. Use multi-factor authentication. Small businesses should start by enforcing MFA across all accounts, including email, financial software, and customer databases. Limit access. Only give employees access to the systems and data they need to do their job. Implement simple role-based access controls to keep things secure. Secure remote work. With remote work becoming more common, use encrypted VPNs and ensure all devices are up to date with the latest security patches. A small business saved from a ransomware attack thanks to Zero Trust was a manufacturing firm that implemented access controls and MFA. When an employee accidentally clicked a phishing link, the system's multi-layered security caught the unauthorized access attempt and the damage was prevented before it could escalate. Implementing Zero Trust at the individual level. Even individuals can benefit from the Zero Trust model. Here's how. Use MFA for everything, from social media to banking. Enable multi-factor authentication wherever possible. Verify devices. Regularly check which devices are authorized to access your accounts and remove any that are no longer in use. 
keep software updated. Always ensure your apps, operating systems, and security software are up to date. Many attacks exploit outdated software vulnerabilities. For instance, an individual avoided having their identity stolen when an attempt was made to log into their account from an unknown device. The account was protected by MFA, and the unauthorized attempt was blocked, preventing a breach. The future of zero trust. As the digital world continues to grow, zero trust will likely become the norm rather than the exception. Companies of all sizes and even individuals will need to adopt its principles to stay protected against ever-evolving cyber threats. With increased remote work, cloud adoption, and the Internet of Things (IoT), zero trust will be essential for maintaining security in a hyper-connected world. The message is clear. Zero trust isn't just for big corporations. It's a mindset shift that everyone, from large enterprises to individuals, should adopt. By implementing its principles, you can better protect your data, limit potential breaches, and stay ahead of cyber threats. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates on the latest in cybersecurity. Stay safe, stay secure, and remember, never trust, always verify. Like, subscribe, and comment below on how you're implementing zero trust in your business or personal life.